we just finished a painting, but now how do we get it back home? Today we're going to talk about how to transport wet paintings. Transporting a wet painting will depend on a number of factors, including how big is your canvas and what type of an easel you use. Today I'm using a French easel that I got from Julian from Blick Art Materials, and I'm going to show you exactly how we can transport this wet painting back home. Transferring wet paintings back home or to the studio can differ depending on how you work. For painters who might be painting several paintings in a day, that's where you might look into getting a wet panel carrier. Raymar makes these where they, it's kind of like a little briefcase that will hold several painting panels and keep them from touching. The thing with a wet uh, panel carrier is that you're kind of locked into a specific size. You have to know ahead of time what size panels am I going to be painting on and then get a panel carrier for that size. Or if you're painting on multiple sizes, then you're going to have to get multiple panel carriers. That said, I find this method the easiest. So I'm simply going to fold up the uh, easel like I normally would to put it away. And I'm maintaining the, the uh, wet panel here. I'm gonna put the easel on its edge. And this is held in place by these little brackets here that's holding the canvas in place. So I'm mindful not to touch it or anything and I'm gonna keep it away from my body. I'm just holding the French easel like this. And this is a method that you can go ahead and take this and walk back to your car or your studio or wherever uh, you're taking the painting to. Hey guys, editing Danny here. Uh, I wanted to leave a quick comment saying that I'm making these videos to answer questions you guys might have. So leave a comment down below on any questions about art or creativity or painting that you might have and I'll answer your question in a following video. All right, here's to the rest of the video. When I load this into my car, I'm mindful to keep the wet painting uh, either up or tilted back like this so that nothing touches the panel. That's it, it's basically that simple. When you get home, you can just carefully remove it from the sides and then put it someplace to dry in the studio. Like I mentioned before, a wet panel carrier can be nice if you have multiple paintings, if you're on a plein air trip, or you're gonna do several in a day, but then you're limited in the size that you can have. Also, if you paint with canvas, they do make canvas clips where you can basically hook onto the corners of a canvas and carry it that way. I would say that the easiest way though is to go with the method that stays in your easel. Lastly, you can make your own canvas panel carriers. That's something I've done using a laptop box and hot gluing some dowels that will keep the panels separated so that they don't touch. If that's something you'd like me to show you how to do in a video, leave a comment down below. And if enough people are interested in that, I can definitely make that video for you. I hope this method helps you guys. Remember, you have a voice that matters. Go be creative. I'll see you next time.